Yo, what is going on, guys? Hope you're all doing well. I'm gonna try to keep this short. Uh, Yorm got his rework, and I'm gonna try to show you some of the best punishes that I've found, and uh, how good they work. I've used them in a couple of duels and brawls and doms, whatever, and uh, they worked out really well. So to start off, uh, Yorm's got the uh, in chain bash where you can go into hammer and it's faintable, which is pretty crazy because it gives you 30 damage. But uh, there's a lot of stuff in his move set. I'm not gonna try to go too far in. They may change stuff. It's kind of early on. Um, I may disclosure that later, but anyways, uh, yeah, if you go, you can use your chain, you can initiate it after any attack, so light and a bash, right, as we do the heavy, but that bash is quite strong, and it's pretty safe if someone tries to dodge it, um, I'll probably have to get the bot to work on that, but, you go for the bash, and if you just zone, you can keep your chain going, right, and if someone dodges this, it's pretty safe if they go for a GB, because if you whiff it, like that, you can keep the chain going, just like that. So, uh, the way to initiate that is it's the exact same button as a zone input. So if you zone right now from neutral, which is your light and heavy attack at the same time, you get that, but if you hit it again, you can chain it. You can't keep zone, zone, zone. It's technically, technically uh, light or heavy, whatever. Um, it's nothing crazy. So zone, light, zone, you can heavy, and zone, light. Them. That's how you get that. Um, just end the bot right there. Perish. Another thing that I want to talk about is the punishes for the wall splats. So if I get the bot here, um, I don't know if you guys have seen, but when you get a guard break, if you heavy from... I'm trying to make my guard clear. So I'm going to get a guard break, heavy on the top, and a wall splat him, right? And you can get that heavy, which is confirmed. You do from the side, and it'll launch him in whatever direction you have your... Uh, you can kind of see if I have my guard on the left and I hit him, I'm going to send him to the right. Kind of like that, right? Now, if there is no wall, then of course everybody knows that you can just... Well, he'll stay here. You just light, light, and that's guaranteed. You just get the guard break, just mash left click, whatever. If you're on PC, just smash your uh, light attack button. Just like that. However, if there is a wall behind you, and there's no real way, because uh, so the wall's behind me, and I can't get him behind me like that. Instead of just opting to uh, storm on the wall behind you. Where, buddy? If you do one light and then throw him behind you, then you get the heavy. Because that pretty much is a nut kick. Boom, like that does 10 damage. Now, you would probably think, why not just do the nut kick, throw him on the wall, and then get the heavy? Uh, it's because it does like two more damage if you do this. That does 12 damage, and you go for that. So that's better. But if they're behind you, then, uh, yeah, you wouldn't get the guard break. Do that, and then throw them behind you. Which is pretty good. And one of the bigger things I want to talk about, too, is when you get a wall splat off an unblockable. It's different, because the chain keeps going. What I mean by that is, say we get in our chain, we throw a finisher heavy, we get a wall splat. And people go for this, which is okay, you know, but there's, you can, get, you can optimize that better. Alright, so I got the bottom position, so if you do the unblockable, it's going to displace, and you want to chain your zone after that. It's the same thing um, as like when you do the uh, that little displacement thing we knock him on the ground. Same thing as this. But if you get him into a wall with the unblockable, you see that they get stunned. Just keep that going. Because that's going to give you the better um, it's going to give the most damage. You're going to optimize your damage. It's going to give you four more. Which is pretty good still. Um, Yorm is quite strong right now. And like I said, he may get changed uh, in the future. So I'm just trying to keep this short, but I've just seen a lot of uh, people people play them a little bit differently. But I just find this to be the most effective because think about it: if you go for your displacement on the ground, you go for your heavy like that, you both get reset to neutral, and that gives your opponent um, the opportunity to to um, fight back or you know whatever. So this keeps you ahead of the game, just like that. And if you're afraid they're gonna wake up from that, what I mean by do that. You're probably gonna wake up after this. You throw the light in there. Pretty much beat him to it. And hit the ground, so. Quite strong. Just wanted to keep this short. Show you guys a couple little things that I thought was pretty pretty handy. Small little guide. And I've used it in plenty of fights, so it, it seems to be working out so far. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.